Hello and welcome back to Town of Salem. Our name is Jeff Flake and we are the Bodyguard. I always enjoy getting a town roll because the game is balanced towards town, but uh, with that said, Bodyguard is probably my least favorite role to play in town um, for a couple of reasons. One, it is just very clearly the weaker of the two TP claims. Doctor is better, uh, I think by a fairly wide margin. And also, if you do your job correctly as Bodyguard, you die. So it makes it very difficult to carry games as a bodyguard. And in particular, when you're in a game like this, which is a mixture of high elo and low elo players, uh, there's a lot of masters players in here, but there's also a lot of gold and silver players. Um, when you're in a game like this, you really want to have the ability to carry and uh, <laughs> playing bodyguard just doesn't, doesn't really jive with that. So we're going to go on Giles Corey tonight. There were two people who asked for TP elo, Thomas Danforth and Giles Corey. Giles put his claim out first, though, so therefore it is the stronger of the two claims. Um, and there was a little bit of a, a delay between him asking for it and Thomas Danforth asking for it. So, I don't know. If Danforth really wanted TPLO to be on him, um, like, I don't really think that he's necessarily suspicious because the, the distance was short enough. Maybe he was still typing. But, um, you know, if Danforth really wanted it, he could just come out and say, I'm Jailer, TPLO on me, or something like that. Okay, so... Um, always Scum comes out as Sheriff, says that Barry Allen is inno. Trilvester asked Thomas for their role. Pretty reasonable question since this guy was the second TPLO request. He already looks just a little bit suspicious, right? Trilvester says that they found Danforth as BGGF Arso. And Trilvester says that Thomas Danforth claimed Vigilante to him. Okay, I want to pause things here because there, there's a little bit of discussion that needs to happen. On the one hand, what Trovester is saying right here looks very much like an executioner for two reasons. One is that claiming investigator and saying that you found somebody BGGF Arso is sort of a classic executioner play. Uh, a lot of people don't want to just come out and say, I'm sheriff and this guy's suspicious because that seems too on the nose as an executioner play. So they come out as investigator and say, this guy is BGGF Arso, which is one of the most sort of suspicious investigator uh, bins. And then when the guy says, oh, I'm not that, uh, then then you try and try and get him. And you also have the sort of fail safe that if he's not um, BGDFR, so you could say, oh, well, he was doused, right? So you have a little bit of a fallback just in case. Not that you're really trying to rely on that, but because um, if you get the guy lynched, then you don't care what happens to you after that. But this looks very much like an executioner play because of that. And also because he's investigating someone who asked for TPLO. There's sort of an implicit rule Right? This guy was the second person to ask for TPLO. He better be somebody important, right? He better come out as jailer or mayor or retributionist, some sort of you know easily confirmed role. This, this guy has to confirm himself. So investigating him doesn't really make a lot of sense because there's already a lot of pressure on him to confirm himself. You can just go and check somebody out, and if he isn't able to confirm himself, then we're going to, to kill him. Um, here's the other part of it, though. Thomas Danforth is not coming out and saying that he is jailer or mayor or retributionist or transporter or something important, right? He's coming out and saying, I'm vigilante. And vigilante should be one of the absolute last roles to get TPLO focus, right? You are one of the lowest priorities. Town actually probably prefers if you just die night one, right? You don't deserve TPLO focus to be put on you. And there's no problem with asking for TPLO focus to be on you as a vigilante. If you are the only person asking for it, you'll see probably in some of my games as vigilante, I will ask for TPLO focus, but I'll ask for it at the end of the day after everyone else has had a chance to ask for TPLO focus, it'll be at the very last second, right? And I'll be perfectly fine if someone else asks for TPLO at the last second and, and I end up dying because of it, right? Because you, you don't care about your life as a vigilante. You're more of a burden to the town than you are a help in most games, right? Obviously, your role can do some powerful stuff by killing people, but you're just so difficult to confirm, and you're going to have to take a shot so early to try and confirm yourself that it, you're really more of a liability in most circumstances. So, so saying that you're vigilant, vigi and asked for TPLO focus to be on you second after somebody else had already asked for it looks more suspicious than what Trovester is doing here. So let's continue on. I'd point out the obvious. Why would a vigilante ask for TPLO? Maybe Arso, but I mean, let's be real here. If you're asking for a TPLO focus on you as a Vigi, you're doing something wrong, right? So I want to I want to lynch this guy. I want to put him up. We end up putting him up. 
Stanforth will put down as a Vigi claim. I accidentally put down Mothman as a TK claim instead of TI claim. He's claiming TI here. Um, I also miss that Moonlight says they are TK claim. Potential Vester as investigator claim. So Danforth is making a decent defense, right? Trilvester very much looks like an executioner. He's investigating a TPLO request. Uh, he has sort of this classic executioner result as an investigator, right? I found this guy BGGFR, so, but I want to guilty this. Vig is not for TPLO, right? This is not important. Disaster Lesbian comes out and says Vigi is important. So right off the bat, Lesbian needs to claim. Lesbian is absolutely 100% wrong. Vigilani is one of the least important roles to town. I want to know what this guy is. Trilvester has good logic. It's a classic MOF tactic. Disaster Lesbian says TI. That isn't a role. That isn't a claim. That is claim space. Yeah, get Lesbian up. I want to get Lesbian up. This person seems really wrong. They're claiming TI with no will. Anytime anybody claims TI with no will, they better be lookout. Right? There's, there's no excuse not to post your results as spy, sheriff, or investigator. It, it, it's really dumb not to come out. Menno says, I don't trust anybody that invests TPLO focus day one, I guess. I, I do think that Trilvester's play was a little bit wrong, but given that he made that play, I think we 100% lynched Thomas Danforth. I think that even if Trilvester hadn't come out and said that this guy was BGGFR, so we could have just asked for Danforth's role, and if he had said Vigi, I would have voted to lynch him. Right? So it didn't even matter to me what that Trovester, his will, conflicted with Danforth's. Right? We have to guard Giles Corey again. It looks like it could be a werewolf game. Uh, also could be an Arso game. In both circumstances, I want to be on the TPLO focus to get seen by a lookout and confirm me as not the arsonist or to kill off uh, a werewolf who's trying to rampage at the Jailer's place. So there's, I, I don't really have any choices. Menos died in their home last night, killed by a member of the Mafia. This guy was saying some fairly intelligent things, so I think this was a good... I don't think he died for sa for saving Vidge. I think he died for having the presence of mind to say that Trilvester looked like an executioner. Because he did. There's some whispering going back and forth. Always Scum says Menos seems inno. That was a decent check. Because right? the guy was also at the same time kind of defending somebody who shouldn't get defended. Parkour Sick Boy comes out and says that he is vigilante and that he shot Thomas Danforth. Yeah. Trovester goes ahead and says that Al was jailed last night, which proves he is an executioner. Doesn't prove that he wasn't, you know, something else. Giles Corey says that he was roll blocked, so presumably Consort visited him last night. He wasn't roll blocked the first night, which means it isn't an escort game. So, yeah. I say that Lesby needs to claim and post a will because this person has not made a claim, not posted any wills, and was defending somebody who very much looks evil now. Let's go ahead and put Danforth up. At this point, we have an investigator saying that they're wrong. We have a vigilante who says that they shot them, right? And we have them just claiming Vigi after asking for TP Low Focus late in day one. Danforth says, one second, Trill's not posted a full will. He has, so this is not a great defense. And why aren't you posting a will? And, I mean, really, obviously, why aren't you saying at the start of the day that you shot Trilvester? 100%, if you were Vigi, you would have shot the guy who was pushing on you. He claimed that you were something you weren't. Like, you know if he's wrong. You haven't even said that I will shoot three tonight? No. This guy has uh, forgotten what Vigis would do in this situation. Guilty this. You're not shooting anybody tonight. You're dying. 14 needs to claim. There's been a lot of push on them to claim. They defended this. They look really suspicious. Trovester's absolutely right. This is a common evil tactic. They try and split TP low focus. I don't think it was, I mean, he didn't He didn't ask for it after a long delay. He kind of just waited. A, an amount of time that seemed reasonable, right? He might have just been typing it. But yeah, this turned out to be Witch, which I guess pushes a little bit of suspicion off of Disaster Lesbian, because if they were Mafia or some evil, they wouldn't know that Thomas Danforth was evil, right? They're not defending them because uh, they're a teammate. This person was of an, a different faction. In any case, I'm going to vest. I feel a little bit scared at this point. Um, me and Trilvester have been kind of the two smartest people in town at this point, and uh, smart people often get killed. 
So I'm going to hope that Giles has protection. Also, Lookout will have seen me visit Giles twice at this point, so I kind of feel like I'm confirmed enough against the possibility of an arsonist. I don't need to defend against a werewolf coming into him. Let's just go ahead and use our vest. Turns out not to be necessary. We weren't attacked. That's good. Mothman died last night. This was a TI claim that I accidentally wrote down as a TK claim. What were they? Go ahead and whisper the jailer that I am bodyguard. It looks like he has a lookout on his team. I'm, I should just copy my will to him. Mothman was consort, who unfortunately ran into a lookout, it looks like. I mean, from the way Jailer is talking, it sounds like there what there is a lookout. Okay. We get Owl. Yeah, that sounds right. I, I want to know what the lookout will says. And uh, as I'm discussing things, I don't notice that the lookout has died last night. So <laughs> I should be checking his will. Yeah, seems like it's time to get Owl. Pretty sure this is an arsonist game. If Owl is claiming Town Protect, but wasn't on uh, Gauss Corey Night 1, or was on them in some weird way. Disaster Lesbian is coming out as Investigator, saying that I am BGGF Arso. Congratulations. I am Bodyguard. Let's get Owl up. Okay, yeah, Al's will is garbage. You were on Thomas Danforth. Thomas Danforth was very clearly the weaker of the two TPLO requests. You should not have been on him. This is why you are not getting confirmed by Lookout, so Al goes up. Always Scum says get 14. I kind of agree with him, but... At the same time, this guy seems a lot more confirmed evil than, uh, than 14 is. 14's will is pretty bad, but 14's will also does say that I am BGGFR, so, which is information he wouldn't be able to know unless he was consig. Yeah. Time, time to get rid of uh, this guy. Was not on the correct TP level request. Moonlight comes out and says, I am veteran. Dare comes out and says, I'm veteran. Okay, so one of these two guys is fake. Disaster Lesbian votes Inno on this. Yeah. Making yourself look even better every day. This guy was basically confirmed evil. So two vet claims. Interesting. So we have a one for one that we can take pretty quickly here. Game is looking pretty good. I asked Giles Corey if he wants me to be potentially on Barry Allen. Uh, I think I'm just going to be on Giles Corey. I, I have no reason to not believe Barry Allen. Right? Um, but at the same time, you know, there's, there's a risk that Barry Allen decides to vest or Barry Allen goes on somebody else, right? I haven't coordinated with Barry. Um, so I, I, like Barry might go on me. Barry might have that thought. So I don't want to leave Jailer open. Um, I think if we just keep on keeping Jailer alive, we'll be good. So we're going to go on Giles. I don't expect him to be attacked, but... Someone occupied my night. I was roll blocked. Hmm. Well, hmm. It's possible somebody thought that I was Godfather. I think that's a fairly poor roll block, though. Like, why would you not roll block 14, who looks really suspicious? My name is Barry Allen, and I'm the fastest bodyguard alive. <laughs> I like that he switched off a jailer, night two. Just, you know... Just so that we would have some questions as to whether or not he was arsonist or, you know, maybe Jailer dies to werewolf. Moonlight died last night. This is one of our two veteran claims, so we'll see if this was the real one. Jailer executed them. Seems like a decent execute. Godfather. Okay. So this guy was the... Well, hmm. Dare is dead as well. 
died, died to Barry Allen. So this is awkward. Why would two mafia both claim veteran? Not a great idea. Not the uh, the smoothest of plays from uh, from Team Italy here. So I say that any escort claims should come out now. Trevester found Ahem as escort cons consort trans. Okay. Ahem says that they roll blocked me. So they claim day two. You didn't claim very loudly then. Also, why weren't you on Jailer night one? If that's the case. All right, get Mothman out of here. Get these vet claims out of here. Let's try and clean up our will a little bit here. Uh, Pine is a confirmed lookout. We also have a retributionist in the yard. I'm bodyguard. 14, pay attention. Yeah, 14 to Zeno. I get that. You checked him out. He's Zeno. He's just really bad. He can't be consig because the sheriff found him in O. Uh, well, it's hard to say. I'm just going to go with what town is voting up. I do think we should lynch people. We just need to take anybody who isn't confirmed at this point and get rid of them. I don't really doubt this guy. Yeah, I mean, he's the first TI claim to come out. I'd rather get 14 up, but at the same time, if this guy found 14 NO, then we're not getting him up. Put Menos in the Retributionist slot. Uh, I don't know. I don't particularly trust this Escort claim either. I really need to, to fix up this will. We're going to guilty this. We have the numbers. There's only one evil left, and we have a lot of town. Jailer's up as well. I'm up, so they need to kill me before they can kill Jailer. We're just going to plow through everybody. If you're not confirmed, we're going to guilty you. Everybody who isn't confirmed, we're guiltying them. So I didn't really think this guy was bad, but... Lynching him also confirms disaster lesbian. So it's kind of a twofer. It confirms him and it confirms 14. Jailer says they're getting 14. I don't think that's correct. And unfortunately, Sheriff did not keep a good will. So they don't have their results in here. So they don't they aren't repeating in death that they checked 14 and found them in O. Uh well, we're gonna stay on Jailer. As long as Jailer stays alive, things can't go wrong. We have a confirmed Vigi in Parkour Sick Boy, right? We have a confirmed Investigator. It's, ugh, it's basically 12, right? We're assuming that Ahem is Escort, or Ahem, Ahem is Consort, who then became Mafioso now. We'll find out tomorrow if they roll blocked anybody. <clears throat> yeah, one of these two needs to go down. I have died protecting my target. Okay. <laughs> Mafia made some strange choices this game in terms of who they attack. Mafia made a lot of strange choices this game. Um, Mothman claiming TI, but then going on Jailer Night 2. Uh, presumably because I guess Jailer jailed Moonlight. Hard to say. Two Mafia claiming veteran. Mafia choosing to attack Jailer when they knew that there were two Town Protects up because both, both B and Barry Allen were claiming Town Protect. Neither of us they knew were neutral evil or neutral killing. So they were kind of just running straight into... Yeah, they, they were, I think, maybe just hoping that Barry Allen would vest and that they could get Jailer that way by roll blocking me. In any case, second random mafia was consort. Double consort game. Ahem was the consort turned mafioso. Uh, Vigilante looks like they shot somebody just to hurry up the game. Nothing wrong with that, I guess. As long as they're not shooting Jailer, then we're good. Disaster Lesbian is upset that Jailer executed them, but they were playing badly this entire game. And even though the Sheriff had kind of confirmed them, Sheriff didn't keep a will, so Jailer might have missed that. Right? Sheriff Sheriff does not have his, his results in his will. Which is not good. You should keep all... That's the number one thing you should be keeping in all your, your wills, is, is the results. 
Yeah, I'm sorry, but Disaster Lesbian, you voted wrong on basically every single person that got put up. I think you, you voted correctly on Always Scum, but even that wasn't really a good vote. Because even though he looked like Sheriff, we were lynching him because we just needed to get rid of anybody unconfirmed at that point. We gained two ELO for that. That's game. I want to emphasize that you don't want to ask for TP low focus as a vigilante. And certainly you should not defend someone asking for TP low focus as a vigilante. And you shouldn't just refuse to claim until day three um, as a TI, right? You shouldn't just hold on to your results. So there were some silver and gold players in this game who made some questionable plays. Um, in particular, the decision to uh, have two Mafia claim veteran and then also go after Jailer two nights in a row when they knew Town Protects. There were two Town Protects up. Um, Bavi ended up losing a lot of people that way. I don't think they could have won regardless, given the way that they were claiming. Um, and, and the fact that we had a lookout, which was able to confirm or deny a lot of players. Um, but yeah, uh, rough game for Evils. Hit an immune target night one. Um, really didn't coordinate very well together in terms of what their claim space would be. Uh, really didn't choose good targets to attack, roll block, use their powers on, etc. And uh, Town was able to put it together despite a few Town members kind of lagging behind uh, the logic that they needed to apply. Alright, that's it for this episode. I'll catch you guys next time.